understand that even in an ideal situation, uh, the STAR exam is a deeply flawed measure of student achievement. Calls to cancel the annual STAR exam for this school year are only getting louder across the state of Texas. In fact, nearly 70 members of the Texas House are urging the Texas Education Agency to rethink its plan. Members are calling for the agency to cancel the exam or at the bare minimum, not use student scores to rate schools or districts this year. 25 News reporter Liam McNeil explains why some teachers and parents are concerned if the exam does happen. Well, it's no secret there has been some issues along the way when it comes to education and COVID between students, parents and teachers bouncing back and forth between virtual and in person learning. All parties involved tell me it's been a lot to digest even before you add in a high stakes standardized test. Before COVID, there was not a year that I taught in, that I've taught in Texas where I did not see a child become physically ill on the days that the tests were being taken. As an educator for 18 years, half of that spent in Texas public schools. Rick Boulay feels the STAR exam is an inaccurate way to assess a student's knowledge of a subject. He says it should have been thrown out a long time ago. Going, this is the wrong direction to go, even before COVID. Now you add a pandemic on top of that. And you, why are we doing, why are we even thinking about this? I think it's going to cause these kids to have like severe test anxiety. The added stress of COVID has parents like Shakia McAllister extremely concerned. She says her daughter struggled with the switch to virtual learning, causing her otherwise exceptional grades to drop. With the, the transition um, due to COVID with them doing online learning, they're not getting all of the information that's needed to, to help them to even, even be prepared for the test that's coming up. Although her daughter is back in the classroom and is working to pick those grades back up, she still does not believe this test should be taken, especially with teachers and students still adjusting to the multiple ways of learning today. So we can get them back um, in school full time. I think they should not count that against them because it's, it's kind of a punishment to them. Like, how can you allow someone to take a test on something that they haven't mastered, you know? If, if our goal is to have kids learn and to value learning and enjoy learning, do we think we're accomplishing that right now by having a high stakes test that already makes them sick before we add in a pandemic? McAllister also tells me she has a lot of questions surrounding how students will be tested since you can't pack everyone into a room because of social distancing. I did reach out to the TEA for comment but have yet to hear back. In Colleen Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. Last spring, Texas applied for and received a waiver from the federal government allowing it not to administer its STAR test. It's unclear whether President-elect Joe Biden's administration will offer similar waivers in the next year. The state is already committed to allowing 5th and 8th grade students who fail the exams this spring to move up to the next grade, but that's with district permission. Usually, student scores determine whether high school students can graduate or whether schools can remain open.